Hello everybody and welcome to Indoor Lands. Now this is a an indie title by uh, Pixel Split and it is a theme park builder. Um, this one I would definitely say that if you were thinking about uh, maybe games like uh, Planet Zoo, um, Planet Coaster, um, any of the sort of big frontier games where you have a lot of like messing around with a massive park and you don't really know where to start. This one would be a really good sort of entry level game to start you off because it's all contained within little rooms. Um, so you never feel like overwhelmed with the amount of stuff that you have to decorate. You always feel like you just got a little bit at a time and it builds up. So I will show you what I mean by that, but thank you very much guys for, for the free key and to let me have a little look at this one. And let me enter the park and we're gonna go do the tutorial. Okay, so hi there, I am the Indoor Lands Octopus. I am here to help you getting started with your first park. Uh, don't forget this game is currently in early access. This means sometimes problems may occur, but we would love to hear your feedback to help us improve the game. If you encounter any problems, click on the bug. Please be aware this is far from being a comprehensive tutorial. If in doubt, experiment around. If you get stuck or have any questions, use the Steam community features or join our Discord. Thank you for understanding. I don't think it's... um too difficult to get the hang of though. So within the build menu you can purchase new buildings and pathways and decorations and all sorts of other things. Um, when you're ready to open your park to visitors you can do so within the park menu and that is the entire tutorial. <laughs> but don't worry I will show you a bit more about how things work. So you start off with this lovely ride and you've already been given one um, ride hall. So all of your rides in this game are within a hall each so it's pretty cool like that you've got, then you've got your like entryway it gives you and then you've got your it starts off as one tiny little car park and then that will build up over time and then over time you'll be able to get bus stops and trains and things whether we'll manage to get uh, that far in this little first taste i'm not entirely sure but we'll definitely be able to at least uh, build and decorate a couple of parks so the f uh, a couple of ride halls sorry so the first thing i'm going to do Actually, I think the first thing I'm going to do is actually open the park. So let's just do that. So we can uh, change the, have a look at the ticket prices. We can change them up a little bit if we want to and make a bit more money. But for now, I'm just going to open up at 25% capacity. Congratulations, your park is now open. You can either expand on this park or start your own park from scratch in the main menu. Um, I think I wanted 25%. I think I've ended up with 12. So let's go back in. No, we need to go to 25, that's fine. So you can have a look at feedback, you can have a look at how many restaurants you've got, your utilities, all that sort of thing, which we don't have much of at the moment. You can have a look at the happiness here and see how the guests are feeling. Um, and you can usually click on that. You also have a look at your finances, it shows you how much you're making, how much you're spending, and how much overall profit there is. Perfect. Okay, so I wanna go and uh, try and have a little look at uh, but you can also see how attractive things are. So it's already quite attractive just for, for being there, honestly. Um, but you can make it more attractive by putting things around the place. So I think that's what we shall do. You can also toggle the walls up and down. I quite like being able to see the background walls, um, but sometimes it's useful not to have that. And then you can also see like where people are dropping litter and you can clean the park up if you need to. Okay. So it's a little spot tool there. You can go pachink, pachink. Like so. Okay, so I think the next thing I'm gonna do is take a look at research. Because we've got some research. You can there's all these lovely trees. Uh, you can in, you can do decorations, parking bus train, uh, different kinds of restaurants to keep the guests happy, toilets, utility rooms. Deco halls, water deco halls, and ride halls. So you've got all the different types of halls, and you can get different ones and different types of rides. But there are some um, sort of uh, you need to get at attractivity milestone two, for example, to open the chaos ride. So you do need to be working on the park all the time to be able to unlock these things. Um, the other thing that you can also get is you can build one research room here if you've unlocked that first one. But if you want two research rooms, you can use some of the, the points that you start with just to unlock a second one. And I'll show you how to build research rooms just now. So we're going to go into the build menu. And I'm going to 
gonna do a little corridor down here. Maybe a little corridor down here. Just to start things off. Um, what I might also do very quickly, is I, I think it's a bit of a waste of space the way they've uh, placed this. You can adjust any, any halls you've got. You can move them around, which is really quite handy if you then start to open up new le new sort of areas of the park and you want and you want to uh, you want to move things around, move things to the side. You can fit I usually in this um, initial area you can actually if you really squidge them in, you can fit five halls in, which is actually quite a lot. It's probably enough for most of the different themes to be explored to be honest although we probably won't have time to do that this episode we'd be lucky if we get two done <laughs> probably just one all right so i'm gonna have a look at, at uh, like toilets and restaurants and things and we've got some spaces here that look really good for for like toilets and restaurants and things although what i might do actually is move the toilets somewhere a little bit less like oh oops not what I meant to do. Um, to move the toilets somewhere a little bit, let's adjust because they count as little, little tiny mini halls. The toilets. Um, I'm just going to move them somewhere a little bit better, and I'm going to move the like cafes and things. I think just over here. And I think I'm also going to get. I think I might get another cafe to go there, and then I think I'm going to get a medium-sized cafe to go in there too, and I'll probably make them really happy. And then we will decorate a hall. I'm gonna put a few halls in with like different rides and things, but I might not get around to decorating all of them. I will decorate at least one to show you though. Okay, so. Uh, shall I put in a deco wall as well? Yeah, let, oh, oh, I don't even have any open yet. Okay. Well, let's get research sorted then. So that we at least can get that by the end of the episode. So uh, if you go to utilities, I could get another toilet if I wanted to. Um, it is very ugly though, so you try, I try to keep it out of sight, except for when they kind of really need to go to the toilet. And I'm going to put my research centres like very, very much out of sight. Um, just over, over me. And they should just churn out research for me as we go along, which is wonderful. Um, and then what I might, uh, I don't know, so if I put halls over here then that's going to be a problem and I might need to move them somewhere else that's like out of the way. I don't know, we'll, we'll work on it later. You've got to put them somewhere and they are, they are a bit ugly so if I turn on like the heat maps, um, oops, good. heat map, well, attractiveness, you can see that the toilet, oh actually, Research isn't a problem at all, but toilets are minus five. So you gotta be a little careful about where you put your toilets and things. Okay. Next thing I wanna do, I think, is to open up um, a new restaurant. I want a nice new restaurant for these guys. And I think a medium restaurant, I think a little like salad bar would be lovely. I could open a cafe once I get another point, um, but these ones down here, you need to get need, at need level three before you can put them in. So they become, basically the need levels of the customers becoming more demanding as time goes along. I'm gonna also unlock, oh, visit a milestone one before I can unlock utility rooms. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, we're looking to maybe increase the number of visitors then. We've got really good happiness. I don't see why we can't open at a slightly la um, higher rate. So let's go into the play menu. And up it to 50. Let's see. And I'm also gonna put in another hall, I think. We've got lots of money, so I don't see why we can't have a lot of halls. And then I'll go back in and I will sort them out and make them pretty. So the ride halls at the moment are all going to be identical to each other. Not a lot I can do about that, but uh, I'm also go uh, well, I'm gonna enter the hall uh, because I need to put a ride in, but uh, at the moment you can, you can just leave them uh, very, very plain with plain walls and everything, but I'll just show you, you can also decorate them in a pirate, Japanese, Viking, city, western or space theme. Um, you can change their music. 
You can change the fencing around the uh, the ride itself. You can change the flooring, like where it's green there, that would change uh, change color and things. You can change the walls to something prettier if you want to. Nice sunset, a nice like snowy theme, for example. We could change the floor to like a snowy theme. We could have pirates in the snow. I don't know. I don't know why you'd want the snow. Maybe that'd be good for a space theme, like a snowy planet or something. But yeah, we're going to have like a snow theme for now. I may change that later when I'm actually properly theming the place. But what we want right now is some kind of ride in here. So we've got the machine. And that's all I'm going to do in here for now. Okay, so I'll theme it a bit later. It'd be nice if, because I've got that, it'd be nice if we had some sort of Eskimo theme or something. So we, we've now opened the ability to research our utility rooms, which is something I wanted to do. So I want to have a cleaning room. Oh, I don't have enough research points. No, I need 10. Just for basic utility rooms. What? Okay, let's um, up the speed a little bit so we can make a bit more money and a bit more research points. Oh, and what I will also need to do is to hook this up to a corridor. Of course, I'm amazing at drawing corridors. Let's just do that. <laughs> and if I want to, I can delete bits of corridor to put in um, single, single unit shops and things. Um, did I get that second restaurant? I did indeed. So let's pop that in here. And people can go and get, they can get fries or they can get salads. And we actually also have a popcorn stall there that we could just put down. I mean, it'd have to face a slightly different direction, but that was still cool. So I'm nearly there with my research point. <sighs> it's taking so long. Okay, so in the meantime, um, the other thing that you can do, and I haven't done as yet, um, I might be able to do it on research. So that just shows you how far as a percentage through your research you actually are. Uh, I've got, it shows I've got two active research buildings. Um, I've obtained so far five points, I've used six. I've got ten in hand because I was given some to start with. Oh yeah, we have ten now, awesome. Um, but I just want to make sure that I've got these halls open now. So, themes, utilities, halls. So, yeah, you could have deco halls. Oh, actually, we do have already a deco hall unlocked, apparently. So, let's see if I can build one, because I would like to show you ride halls and deco halls and how to properly decorate each one. So, um... Deco halls. No, they're not open. Hmm, how weird. Okay, let's go back into the research. It looks like it was opened up, but it's clearly not. Hopefully it's only one point to unlock. Oh yeah, yeah, it had unlock on it. What am I doing? What am I even doing? So we'll do that and we'll also unlock utility rooms so that I can have some cleaning going on. Right, okay, so we'll start with the utility room building and then I'll build the uh, the theme hall and I'll show you how to decorate it and everything like that. And obviously it's the same for ride halls and deco halls. So let's have... Hmm. Utilities. Right, so a small warehouse room. I'm not sure what the point of a warehouse is, <laughs> but I'm gonna put one in anyway. And I'm going to put in a cleaning building. So this is all my utilities. And as soon as you put in a cleaning building, two little cleaners come out and they like clean everything up. And that that helps keep everything nice. At the moment, cleanliness could be improved. So I'm hopefully by having those guys there, cleanliness will be improved. I want to just see on the overlay quickly. Oh, need level two. They meet the needs of your visitors as well. They'll now become more demanding. Yay. So we can give them better parking. Uh, we got 50k worth of money, which is great. I'm assuming we're making profit. Doesn't actually look like we're 210k. 
see if that goes up. I think we're making profit, okay. Okay, anyway, so we've got some good needs for my for my peeps. But uh, our attractive list level has a lot to be desired right now. So um, I'm going to see if there's any like research we can do on new rides or anything like that. We can get a better car park already, which might be quite nice to do for five, five points. Um, let's have a look at rides. So we need attractivity milestone two and three. Okay. So I need to make this park prettier and then I can get more rides. And it looks like need levels will get me buses, trains, parking, that sort of thing. What about a large restaurant? We could get a cafe in here. I think they'd be happy with that. Stores. Yeah, let's unlock stores. We need we need stores in here. Absolutely. And cafes. Stores and cafes. Let's get them in. I promise I will decorate a hall before the end of this episode. Massive cafe would fit perfectly just in there. giant cafe in there and then I think I want a little little chocolate shop next door yeah so hopefully that's making them happy so favorite is starting to come up a little bit selection quality park impression is terrible oh dear probably do need to uh, I don't know decorate some stuff I guess so we've put in enough ride halls, we've got ride halls. In fact, we could do one more ride hall. And um, that ride hall, I'm actually gonna put it over here. I'm gonna enter it and I'm gonna put in that last ride because there's one ride we don't have so far. It'll give me a bit more variety. I don't have enough money, what? Oh no. Okay, well I guess that hall will sit there doing nothing. Yay! Bad planning on She Labs part there. Okay, I'm gonna spend what money I do have decorating. So I'm gonna make this into pirate land. Okay, so pirate land is gonna have music that uh so we'll theme it first. It will have um, tavern music, I think. Because that is very piratey. Well, it's a, probably actually more a little bit uh, Nordic landscape. No, no, I do think, I think the, the tavern one. I think I would prefer something slightly more, gosh, it's loud. Slightly more taverny, but never mind. Okay. Um, also, what should we have the? Oh yeah, we could definitely have that. Definitely have that as our fencing. That looks a lot nicer. I'm kind of thinking we'll go with like a beachy theme. Let's do the walls first. So I'm a kind of thinking. Those two look amazing for Japanese themes, so. But I'm kind of thinking this one. We'll do like a beachy theme. So we'll have a beachy floor. That looks perfect. So it's looking a bit tropical. And then we're going to have pirate theme because if you look, pirates got loads of stuff unlocked. I'm just turning down this music. It's awful. It's super too loud. I need. Is there anything in settings to turn down the the park? Turn down the music volume a touch, but then the, the outside music won't be loud enough. It's like it's like there's a difference between the inside music and the outside music, but I've turned it down a touch. We'll see if that's uh, any better for you guys. I'll probably have it quite low in um, editing anyway. I always do with music. I don't like to have it massively loud. 
Okay, so anyway, the theming. Because um, Vikings and uh, City and all that haven't been very unlocked. And until I get the attractiveness up, um, it's going to be hard to unlock them. So probably the best thing to do to start with is to go with the, the pirate stuff. But um, I don't know, maybe, maybe we've got enough. I don't know if we'll need more of an attractiveness rating, but I'm going to leave the hall a second. So I've done the, the basic sort of basic look of it so they all look a bit different with the walls and floors and everything and I'm hoping that that does no they're also like 20 attractiveness across the board because there's no ride in there it's 10 so that's an interesting uh, look isn't it that's an interesting um, thing but you know it is still more attractive than the ground around it and the corridors so oh yeah it's fine so <laughs> let's have a look at the research and see if I can research any more of the pirate theme at all. So it looks like we've got like we've got quite a lot of stuff. We've got lots and lots of stuff, but we'd need to get to well. It's given us all that clearly. We're up to like attractivity five on what's already been unlocked for us. So we've been given a bit of a head start with it, but we would need to get up to attractiveness of seven to get like. Um, all of these nice sort of fencings and extra cannons and stuff like that and uh, to get those big fat boats and I think to be honest you probably wouldn't want your big fat boats until you actually had some water based um, ride halls and stuff but you don't get them until attractivity level 10 so you need to get make things very attractive for that I think attractivity 1 we might be able to get it like level one or something but it looks like if we're going to do pirates we're going to be just stuck with what we've got for now but yeah everything's so much louder in the hall okay so i could make like i'm thinking a little pirate market with some pirate shops and pirate market stalls i'm thinking Secret, like, secret lookout with cannons. Um, thinking that for the market. Maybe, is that a gallow? Maybe a gallow in with, like, the guns and stuff. Shipwrecked raft. Couple of themes there. And then, so that's, like, three themes and then maybe a house. Okay. What's the biggest area? Biggest area is down here, so we're going to start with Pirate Market, I think. Everyone's having lots of fun on the ride. It's really cool. So Pirate Market is going to be like... <clears throat> lots of little piratey... Like, shops. And then a few market stalls, like, in between. So... We've got quite a few pirate shops. We have like a crab shack. A sword place. A sword place. I don't know whether the sword place and the crab shack should be switched around. You can move things whenever you want though. Looks like a anchor place. Yeah, I'd have more room if I switched them. Um, And again, they're the same size anyway. Yeah, I'll just move the crab shack back a little bit. Ah! I hate it when that happens. I'll find it again now. Okay, so then I want like a few kind of like market stalls and things. Um, they sound like they're having fun, don't they? So maybe some like barrels and things in the middle. Um, I'll have to do treasure chests and things. Maybe with the cannon, that might be quite good. Uh, we've got a few barrels and things, but I'm looking for the bigger stuff first. So, yeah, have a little, a couple of little sort of stalls like this, as if it's like a little pirate market. Maybe one like around the corner and let's turn it a bit. There 
There we are, pirate market. Um, I'm actually going to put another couple of these around here. I feel like that's a bit of an empty space. Okay, I think um, some more crates and barrels and things. You can resize anything. You press 5 there and just move your mouse around so I can make the boxes a bit bigger. And the same with the barrels because they look a little bit titchy, honestly. So if you want a slightly bigger one and a slightly smaller one next to each other, for example, it does look quite nice. Um, I might see if maybe I could fit a little tree in or something. I think we've got some palm trees somewhere. They might fit in a bit better because they're quite skinny. Do we have? Yes, we do. Pop a wee palm tree in there and there. And I think then we've got a lovely pirate market. Okay. Then I'm thinking... Is there a, an area that's a bit higher up? Right, I'm thinking maybe a higher up area for the cannon. Maybe shooting down to the raft and then maybe have like uh, just a pirate house over here or something. So there was a bigger pirate house, wasn't there? So I'm kind of thinking that that might just go here nicely if I just get it at the right angle. I think that's the front. I'm just going to have that with some like trees and stuff around. So maybe like a tree like that. Uh, maybe some of the more normal looking trees, the more sort of temperate looking ones, and maybe a bit of a garden going on. Hmm, that's quite small, but I can make these bigger. Yeah, a few reeds. I think the reeds are probably better for like by the water though. That tree might be. Oh, that's really tiny. That's not going to get bigger at all in the way I want. So, a tree like that. You can use Q and E. When you're in the ride hall, it's Q and E to move around. Uh, when you're... There we are. So we've got the pirate market. I feel like there should be something there. I don't know what I want to do there, though. barrels and stuff. Mm. Let me move those closer to there so that the pirate market doesn't look as, uh, as cluttered then. It does look a bit cluttered now, doesn't it? I kind of feel like that could be bigger as well. But I think because I've made all the barrels quite big, it's making the stalls look a bit small. But then again, I, I don't really mind that too much. Could make the stalls a bit bigger. Just move them slightly. I think that looks okay. I really like this. I think that's looking really good. I think there's a lot going on here. A lot of really small bits and pieces. So I feel like I might be better with less but bigger market stalls, but you know, I'm gonna keep it as it is for now. I mean, what I could do, move stuff over here. As if that was like storage for the market. even have like one of the market stalls over here actually girl I've still got it on turn no go back to move it's a bit it actually reminds me a touch of Hoko life in the way that you actually turn and move things around
How's that then? I think that's quite good. And then what I can do with these is make them a bit bigger. Bigger, not smaller. And then move them around and turn them. I think that looks a little bit better. Part of me wants to make them a tiny bit smaller now, actually. Just a touch. Yeah, I think that's that's quite good. So we've got quite a good pirate theme going on so far <laughs> in those two corners. So we've got another two corners to go. So I think this is going to be my raft corner. I want, um, oh no, cart for the marketplace. That would be so much better than the market stalls. That's a perfect foreground item. Yes, much better. Could have made the houses a touch bigger there as well, but I, I don't know. I think that's a nice scene. It's a really big cart too. <laughs> okay, so while we were looking at the cart, so um, raft now. I want the raft to be bigger, obviously. It's going to be the main part of that, like the main focal point of that scene there so I'm going to turn it around a bit I'm going to have it facing this way though maybe turn it a little bit a little bit less that way I'm going to have a massive great big palm tree if I can find a good one oh I hate it when that happens ah I should be able to change it over without pressing escape. It's really annoying. Because it's obviously, it's like a, a shadow. It's like a shadow of its former self. <laughs> when it's a shadow, if you click, if you don't click escape, it doesn't become a real thing. Okay, so, palm tree. I almost certainly had a really massive palm tree somewhere. A really tall one when I was playing around with this before but maybe not are there any other part oh here they here they are big tall palm tree okay and I want um a, a dude needs to be a bigger dude though he needs to be about the same size as the raft and he he got shipwrecked and he and he and he um died of thirst, tried to drink the salt water. Now he dead. Yeah, let's see if we've had a good bush or like some something else to go alongside him. A rock, maybe a nice rock. Is that a crate? Oh yeah, it's a crate with a cloth over it. There's quite a few Oh yes, I think he should be he should be trying to find buried treasure. Absolutely. Surely we got a bigger chest than that, right? Nope, this is apparently the biggest chest we have. Okay. That is fine. Let's see if I care. I'm gonna bring that one forward a little bit. So he was trying to find a buried treasure chest and ended up dying a horrible death and the tragedy is that as soon as he washed up on shore his his bones washed up on shore the treasure chest was right there woe is me Like a 
good rockery. That will do for that. Uh, I'm actually gonna just push the treasure chest a little bit round so it's sort of in that nook. Okay, so that is our story for that. So we've got the pirate market. We've got the dead man drowning on the raft looking for the treasure chest. I, I like to have a story. And then the next one, I think we're gonna get um, one of these. I saw a rock recently. Mm, get a nice big rock here. I'm gonna make it even bigger. And then I'm gonna put like make that one a bit bigger. So it's almost like stairs climbing up. Then I'm gonna put like I might even put a house or something behind it. Then I'm gonna put the cannon on top of the rock. So we've definitely got a cannon somewhere. Just gotta find it. That look nice in my marketplace. <laughs> Sorry, I keep seeing things that look good in the marketplace. Um, that cannon. We're looking for a cannon, okay? Stop getting distracted. Stop distracting me, guys. There we are. And then a couple palm trees. Maybe a small one. Alongside a big one. Alongside a big, like, straight one there. Um, maybe a slightly bendy one. Nah, actually, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I think I would like... A wee dead tree in here. And then I think we're pretty good for... We've got 90, have we? Or is that all? Oh, dear. I need more attractive stuff, don't I? Oh, we have achieved need level 3, though. Nice. I just need to get attractiveness levels. We got 75k in rewards though for getting that need level up. So um, they seem really, really happy with their new decorations. Medium restaurants, you can get ice cream and sweet shops now and all sorts. Yay. Cool, continue. I'm very happy with that. So yeah, you can see how much nicer things look. Um, I'm gonna have a quick look at the, at the research. I'm just gonna see Oh yeah, we are up to 140 attractivity, so I don't know when attractivity 2 will come up. We haven't even gotten to attractivity milestone 1 yet. How attractive does it need to be? My goodness me, okay. I think I need to do more in my pirate hall. Have a look. Oh, you know what? I totally need Viking Hall. Viking Hall. Yes. Let's make a Viking Hall. In my snowy biome. That would be amazing. So, I can get better restaurants now as well. We've got 33 points actually. So, I'm kind of thinking that maybe unlocking... Well, we already have fries. Hang on. Let's unlock an ice cream store. And pop one in. And I do still have a few other things. Like a sweet store. Okay, we could do that. Because honestly, the themes are just... They're just all unlocked behind... I mean, I could unlock all the themes. Like, just to start with. I mean, I don't really know whether I'll be able to play with much of it. Um, 
And we do still have enough to open the... What is that one? Pancake. Pancake shop. Nice. I need. Well, I will need to unlock fries at some point. Uh, looks like visitor milestone five is needed. We need a lot more visitors before we get more cleaning areas and things like that. So let's have a look at what they don't. They do and don't like. There's not enough novelty. The park impression is still terrible. There's not enough favourites. So I really do feel like we need another kind of food court type thing going on around here. So probably over here we'll pop something in. Or maybe even over here. Oh, okay. So I definitely think that we could get another ride in. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make this pretty yet. I'm just gonna put the ride in, and the ride is gonna be the crown ride because that's the only one I believe we don't have yet. And I am happy for it to continue to be red for now. And I love that people are coming into it, even though it technically doesn't have any. <laughs> Oh, 175 attractiveness. Oh, I needed 150. Okay. Um, so we've got attractivity milestone one. Just because I spent all of my points. It knew I spent my points. And it was like, hee hee hee. Um, so clearly I needed the third ride to get to that attractivity level. Um, I can do extras with... If you look at the attractivity heat map. Oh, you can see that is 70 across the board. And this one is 20. And this one is... How is this one 45? Just because I put like one ride in there. What? <laughs> I have no idea. But what I'm going to have to do is put some corridors in because like how... There, there were people in there as well. How they got in, I don't know. They must have just like snuck across the desert or something. There's not even doors. Like, how did they get in? Let's build them some corridors. I just wanted to make sure I had enough money for the ride first. Although I probably should have made sure I had enough money for the corridors first. That would have been better, wouldn't it? Let's delete that, because that's wrong. And there should be plenty of room here for me to put in, like, all different restaurants and things. So, we had, like, a pancake place, and we had, like, a cafe. No, we already put the cafe in, didn't we? So... Oh, I don't have enough money for pancakes! Oh, no! How much have we got? 31k. So, I don't have enough for ice cream, and I don't have enough for pancakes. How dare! How dare you not have enough for pancakes? But they seem really happy with their new ride. They're happy with the toilets, they're happy with the cleanliness, they're happy with the favourite now. Exclusivity taste. Novelty is terrible. Novelty might be from shops, so let's see if I can afford another shop. Sweet shop. No, I can't afford a sweet... How is a sweet shop 56 grand? My goodness. Need more of the small ones. I need a jewellery store, don't I? But I I need to get the a mixture of big and small stores. Okay, so I think the next thing that I can do while the, the money is slowly racking up, it doesn't cost much. Well, too much anyway to increase the attractiveness of something, so... What I am going to do, pop into this hall, and I'm going to make it... Oh, actually, no. I'm going to leave the hall. I'm going to go into my research, because uh, I just forgot that we actually hit attractive list level 1, which means we can unlock some more stuff. So, five points. We're going to have some snowy items. Or we can have... Oh, sorry, wrong one. Some non-snowy items, some sunny items. I think we'll go with snowy items because it really is a snowy scene that we've got there. I don't quite have enough to get the other one. And once we get to attractivity three, so I'm guessing that was, do we have two? Three, three. Everything's asking for three, so I think we might have hit two. I'm not sure. We either hit one or two, I can't remember. loads of stuff that we can unlock here now. I could still unlock another research thing uh, once I have 10 points as well. And um, 
Oh no, attractivity milestone two. Right, once we get to the next attractivity milestone, I can unlock another two rides, which would be amazing. So yeah, let's try and Viking up this hall. Which means uh, we're gonna have Viking music. I already put the, the ride in. I'm happy with the ride being blue and white. That seemed actually quite fitting. And I would like to have the Nordic landscape theme music because that, again, is very fitting. Let's have this kind of snowy looking... Actually, no, that's not very rustic, is it? Let's have like a rustic fence. Is either that one or that one. No, that one's definitely for like a Japanese theme, I would say. This one is rustic. I'm happy with the snowy theme. It was what inspired me to do the Viking theme. And we've got lots and lots of little cool Viking things. So let's um let's have a look and have a think about what story I'm telling here. Fishing village. Storing fishing boats. Yeah, just I think a general village is about all I'm going to be able to do here. I have one house type. So I feel like the house should be a little bigger. And should be like a, a fairly, it should be fairly far back actually. It should be a fairly big, like, focal point. I feel like it should have a, a large fir tree thingy outside. It should have snow on it. Wonderful. I know I make everything huge, but it's because I don't have a lot of stuff right now. <laughs> And I feel it makes it more impactful. I may make things smaller as I get more stuff. I don't know if, that, if this will work. Sort of a little pathway going into the house. I don't know what this is. Oh, it looks like a guard tower. Right, okay. Let's have you over there. Let's have a tree next to you. Let's have um, a little like fishing drying rack thing outside the house. Let's have a bench outside for them to sit on. Let's make it bigger. It's a bit more in line. A little bench for them to sit on. Oh, that might be actually a work table. It's actually not looking like a seated bench. Also, there was one with snow on it. Which would be much better. Alright, snowy bench. Snowy plant. I'm gonna move the drying rack over a little bit. It's looking a bit out of place there. Um, snowy rock. Snowy fence or not? No. Oh, snowy wheelbarrow. Absolutely. About the front of the house. Oh my goodness, what a cute scene.
Hmm. I need resizing. so cute. Do we try and fence it? No, I think that would take away from it. Oh, that would do though. Hmm, let's see if I can get this to kind of do what I want. So I need to sort of be quite careful with how I place this. And of course, you could be here absolutely like all day. Trying to exactly place everything. what I want. See what I mean though, you could literally just be here all day putting tiny little details in and the more details you put in the more amazing it's gonna look the longer it's going to take so like that's probably something that I would do maybe a little fence like this to show you sort of what's possible but I probably wouldn't be doing too much detail work uh, why is that all weird and messed up I'm be doing too much detail work because it's just going to take me forever needs to be almost exactly matched in so it's not gonna work okay it's a little messed up at the end there but you know you get the idea we've got like a, a cute fence um, probably another tree in there would be good there, it looks like a blinking Christmas scene or something. Ah, oh, it's so cute. Right, but that's only one little section. <laughs> so the next section I think is going to be to do with this boat. I feel like this is going to be like a boat construction area. They're building boats to go on a little thing. So maybe we could have like a... Uh, they're sawing some logs for it. There's a tree in the background. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. That gateway looks so pretty. I wonder if I could put it, I don't think I can put it like across the road or anything. I can put it in as maybe an entryway thing, but I think that's already cluttered enough. I feel like a little like, this would be like a little like um, shelter for them to do their work in while they're making the boat. I kind of feel like the boat needs to move now I've done that, so um, I feel like this, ah, it's, it's, it's gone, it disappeared. I feel like they kind of need that as their shelter and then we need to move the boat like out towards here and they're just like working on the boat they're using that as their shelter um probably a rock on a tree and, and all that maybe they'll have another wheelbarrow there actually wheelbarrows are probably quite useful for stuff right we move that around a bit Get it right in a minute, don't worry. I just have to get my creative vision on.
And just in case you're wondering, I'm using numbers to switch between pitch, moving up and down, moving side to side, turning, resizing. You can also duplicate with six. I don't do that too often though. If you accidentally place something, you just click on it again and you can like resize it and all, all that malarkey. Mm. I feel like the tree is better there. Mm, boat would be better. Maybe there. Where did the wheelbarrow go? Oh, man. Everything I do is giant in this game. I feel like I could... Really? I could make this a bit... Uh, smaller. Maybe not quite that small, but we could just go a little smaller with it. And it wouldn't be quite so dominating of the space. Maybe that big instead. The boat's kind of meant to be this the central point there. Okay, so so far we've got boat building. We've got a little uh, village thing going on there, a little house. But I feel like really that's as much as we're going to be able to, to do. I don't know what that is. It's like a plinth for something and I don't know quite what we're supposed to do with that one. So I'm going to leave it because I don't know what it is. I'm very confused. I'm trying to think what to do. Do I continue the boat building theme or do I make more houses over here? I think another house. Um, eventually, hopefully, we'll have more houses. But I want to turn that around. To about the right angle, get it in the right place. Resize it up so it's a little bit better fit in that space. I would say let's pop a rock to the side there somewhere. This is going to be a long episode, isn't it? It's going to need a tree. And some... Now then. A little pathway in. And it'll almost be like the visitors can go in, can go and see the Viking that lives in here. There we are. little snowy plant perfect so viking village it's looking really good i'm gonna have another watchtower on this side so we've got them on both sides there and then i don't know whether i'll just put another house in honestly whether another boat would be a good idea. I'm kind of feeling the houses, so let's just do another house. So we've got basically a little village, it's full of little Viking houses. I think a tree there would be great. Do we have another snowy tree? We do, we have two types of snowy tree. That one is a bigger snowy tree. Might need to move them a bit. And then we're gonna definitely need a snowy rock over there. Let's just move these trees around a bit and then I think we are good on the Viking. And the whole Viking thing. There, look how pretty that is. 
Now then, I think maybe just a couple of rocks or trees along here would be quite nice. Could I move that small tree over a bit and put a bigger tree in? Oh, every time. Every time, G-Lab. Every time. The big tree there, and then we've got that smaller tree. I am gonna cry! Ah! That really annoys me. Right, press escape this time, G-Lab. Okay, done. It happens a lot more when I know exactly what I'm doing and what I want to do and I've got like a vision for it. That's always when it happens because I'm like trying to go faster. There. Oh my goodness. That is so cute. Even if I say so myself. So yeah, I love the theming that you can do here. It's just so amazing. 100% Viking and the star rating there, the attractiveness rating is 55 out of 100. And so I guess you can get to 100 with everything. Um, so if I go to the attractiveness overlay, yeah, that's 64, that one's 70. So Obviously, this is a bit simpler. I could put some more little plants and things in and probably get it up by a few attractiveness points there. We're up to 219. I don't know whether it's maybe 250 or 300 might be the the top there. Um, obviously, we've already got a, quite a good attractiveness rating in here without even doing anything else. Um, but that's kind of that's kind of probably gonna have to be the end, I think. We've done an awesome Viking village, we've done an awesome pirate village. And you do also have little tiny halls. I'll pop one in quickly actually. I won't decorate it, but I'll pop one in just to show you kind of what the idea of a deco hall is. But it's a little tiny hall. It would maybe fit somewhere like here. And uh, basically you can go in it like any other hall. And people can just pop in on the way rounds. So you can see kind of your your corridors there. It's a bit of a janky view, honestly. But you can decorate all in here with whatever you want. And it will add to some of your attractiveness score. So it's actually quite nice to have these just so you can really decorate them to the absolute nines. For example, I could, I could decide I wanted like space in here. I could put in, I don't know, space walls, I could make it into like a spaceship. I could decide I wanted to do like Wild West, I could decide I wanted to do a cityscape. Probably wouldn't work as well. The Japanese garden theme, that might work quite well in here. You could put like loads of bamboo and things up here, and up here, and I could put a load of rocks and, and I could put like a little... A little house in there I could make that smaller so that would be a this would be a time where you'd want like everything to be a bit small but I don't really have time to decorate one of those just now but I think this hour has given you probably a really good idea of the sorts of things you can do and how you can make things look so so pretty I really love these I really love what I've done so I hope you guys did too because <laughs> I'm like blowing my own trumpet there but I just think that the game makes it easy to to do what you want to do. Um, sometimes the only thing that is a little bit annoying to me and I just need to get more used to is the whole thing of pressing, um, having to press escape to make sure that the thing is set in before I go move on to the next thing. So <laughs> that was getting frustrating. But other than that, super, super cool and super easy to make really pretty things, which I always love in a game. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. Um, and if you would like to see more of this type of game, then please do subscribe and I will let you know whenever anything is uh, coming out. I hope to see you soon. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.